Hi, Scritty here, DemonDemon.com. Um, just on Warrior Forum <coughs> and on Black Up World today, uh, it may have been the same person with two different IDs posting, but they're asking about you know getting good lists for GSA and how you might go about scraping your own lists. And some of the advice was saying you could use GSA to scrape a list or use a list that had previously been scraped with GSA and use it in, in new campaigns. But none of them really touched on the fact that it's got a pretty good scraper built into it. And although it's not as fast as um, Scrapebox by a long way, it does have a couple of advantages over Scrapebox. And I'll just show you here how you would use it. So um, this is GSA, this is the latest version, 7.4.0. I think it came out on the 19th of January 2014 and today is the 20th. Click on Options and then Tools. And then down here you will see um, Search Online for URLs footprints and search engine. So first of all it's asking you what footprint you want to use which which is what search term do you want to use to find a particular site or platform and it has predefined footprints down here and every every um, platform that's used, I think just about every platform that's used in GSA, I did notice a couple missing actually, but everyone that's important actually has, has its um, footprint pre-listed in here. So for instance if you wanted to look for um, particular blog, blog spot, you could use that, directories, forums, guestbook, image, com, kind of pingbacks, whatever, they'll all be all be shown in here. Let's have a quick look. Social network. Um, let's have a look for um, let's have what should we look for today? Let's have a look for dolphin sites. I'll just scroll back up. And you can see it's going to look for Powered by Dolphin, Hello Guest, Powered by Dolphin, several different ones, including those with special search operands such as in URL. Um, and some uh, wildcards, the question marks of wildcard there, and ones with multiple um, search terms. So these are exactly the same search terms that GSA would use itself when searching for these. Now, the next thing you need to do is pick which um, search engine, engines you're going to um, go to and hit. And this all depends on the number of proxies you've got, and the number, how much speed, how, how much you're going to rely on your proxies, whether any good or not, and whether you want to leave this hands on or hands off. Now, GSA is nowhere near as fast as Scrapebox. However, that has one sort of back-end advantage in that it doesn't burn out proxies so quickly because it doesn't make as many requests on the same search engines as often. And you can also look at a lot more search engines. If I right-click here in this box here, and check by language. Say I only really want English results, so I check by language, English. It's now checked every English language search engine. You see some are checked and some aren't. Those with the ticks in are checked. It's checked every English language search engine in the list. Very, very handy. Whether it's DuckDuckGo, Ask, AOL, um, Escozia, quite a few Googles, MSNs. Obviously it's hit different data centers of the same one as well, so it's got google.au, google.ca, google.co.uk. Um, so it is hitting Google a few times, but all the same, I think that they come to about 12 or 15 out of 167. Only every 10th or 12th request is actually going to any Google um, <clears throat> center. Now nearly every site is indexed by Google, whether Google is used to search for it or not. Um, and then you can do various things like do a PR check. If it's got PR, then it must be indexed by Google. Google can't give PR to a site it doesn't recognize. Um, so you have your footprint sorted out, you have your um, sites you're going to interrogate sorted out. Next you might want to save to a custom file. If you tick that, I'm going to save to something called, was it Dolphin? I'm gonna, I'll call it Dolphin Sites. So it will then go into the GSA search engine ranking folder. You can put this wherever you like. You can save it to your desktop if you'd prefer. Just give the, give a file a name and it will create a .txt file to put all your results in wherever you want your results put. Next thing, retry to download. I wouldn't add to this. Every time you do that, it will double the amount of time it takes to go through it. And if something doesn't want to be found, best to leave it. There's normally a reason. If it's a slow site, you might not want to use it anyway or have it in your list. Use proxies, definitely use proxies if you can. Search engine filter is, search e is some of the stranger search engines, particularly bad words and blacklisted search engines, you can remove. Got a few adult ones in here actually. Uh, you can just take them out and it won't use those search engines at all if you want to blacklist a particular search engine, not just a uh, data center. The next thing you want is your keywords. Again, very similar to 
uh, scrape box. It'll put this footprint with a keyword every time it does a search. So I have here on my desktop something called keywords, open it up and it's added keywords and I think I've put things like blogs, SEO content and links is what I've it's what I've put. And as you can see it's actually appended the keywords I put in this little file there. Now I just open this up blogging SEO content links. This is our, this is the keyword file. It's as simple as that. Now that's way way few. That's that's not really enough to, to make a difference. Generally speaking if this will get off if this will get off screen somehow. Um, the number of keywords you'd want would be in the region of a thousand, a couple of thousand. Uh, I often go with 50,000 plus keywords and it will then run for several days, even with Scrapebox or HREFER with Zrummer, it will run for a few days scraping sites. Now, <clears throat> um, you're not going to be posting to any of these sites, you're not going to be creating accounts, you're just checking for sites that fulfill these search criteria and are very likely to be, but not definitely, sites of the type you're looking for. Doesn't guarantee that they're open for business or that they'll accept accounts, you'll have to test those separately, but it gives you a very good starting point for your list. It doesn't have any um, extra problems with it that Scrapebox doesn't. I mean, just because Scrapebox finds a footprint doesn't mean it's necessarily a fantastic site. You still have to do the testing and make sure that it's okay. Um, you know, the only way to do that is actually to create accounts and or you know post content or whatever. So this is how GSA Search Engine Ranker is used. Very simply, it's all built in. Uh, all you really need to add is your proxies and a keyword list, and everything else is built in. And if you're using, um, you know, you could think of a keyword list yourself in a few minutes. Or there are plenty of generic keyword lists about on the internet uh, with tens of thousands of words, and you could cut and paste a subset of those and use that if you like. Uh, proxies are pretty important. Uh, I would something like this. If I had a thousand keywords, even though this is slow, I'd still want 20, 30, maybe even 40 fully private proxies. Uh, and I'd want, you know, with this number of search engines ticked, that's probably a safe amount, safe amount to use. It doesn't go quick. It's not as fast as Scrapebox, but it is very powerful and it finds exactly the sites that GSA uses. Last point I would make here is you don't have to use a GSA um, search term up here. You can type in whatever search term you want, you can have, you know, uh, um, design by WordPress, whatever the, you can have whatever search term you want, it doesn't have to be one that's built in, you can use whatever footprint you like and then it'll follow the same, oh, I've got a German keyboard here, haven't I, um, it'll follow the same rules, so really quite powerful. Um, and the list you'll create will be pretty big and that you'll need to test them, but that, that's a very good way of, of using GSA to find lists, whether you want to you know, use them in all your projects or sell them or whatever you want to do, it's all available. Okay, Scritty at demondemon.com, signing off.